everyone, it's Harms from Harms Storybooks and I am here today to refill my TBR jar for 2020 or my To Be Read jar. I finished it just the other day and realised I've never talked about it on this channel. I was doing this challenge with a few in real life friends. It started off as a bingo challenge but it was revamped this year to make it more spontaneous and then I realised it was totally just a To Be Read or TBR jar challenge. The challenge is to complete an entire board of bingo squares, so 20 squares, as quickly as you can. You can only replace a square three times in the year, but if you're waiting on a book to come from the library, you can pull another square while you wait. I am going to choose 10 from this pile of options that my friends made, and then I have 10 that I've chosen myself. So the 10 I've chosen for myself are 20th Century Queer Project Book, Inuit nonfiction, a book by a trans or non-binary author, a play by Christopher Marlowe, a book that I meant to read in 2019, a gothic book, a book by a black author published before 1990, read a translated work, read a magazine, or read a book borrowed from a friend. So let me write these down and put them in my jar. So in goes my 20th century queer project pick, then for Inuit nonfiction, I actually have a book in mind. I'd love to read Life Among the Colonet by Minnie Aolda Freeman. This was given to me by a friend with a beautiful dedication. It looks dense, but also looks really good. So yeah, I want to read this. In goes reading a book by a trans or non-binary author, a play by Crystal Marlowe. For my first iteration of this jar, I read A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare, which I really enjoyed, and then MCS Books just read a play by Christopher Marlowe, and apparently it was really gay, so yeah, I'd love to read a play. In goes a book I meant to read in 2019, which could literally be any book ever, a gothic book. I've been loving gothic books recently, so I'd love to add another into this challenge. A book by a black author published before 1990. I have a ton of black classics I've been meaning to read for forever. James Baldwin, Zori Noel Hurston, so many authors I could read for this prompt. Read a translated work. I want to read more translated works because I really liked my reading for Women in Translation Month, so this is just kind of an extension of that. Read a magazine. So I bought this volume of Jerry in 2019 when I had a mild concussion. I had to go on brain rest, which sounds serious, but I was just really bored. Apart from this magazine, this has recipes and queer culture in it. I love the recipes for black eyed peas in here and have been meaning to make their lemongrass chicken soup from it. I think out of all these issues, I'll read the one with this beautiful painting on the cover as it's my oldest edition. Borrowed from a friend. I have a couple of books that I borrowed from a friend and I've had them for at least three years, so it is time to give them back. Just an acknowledgement, I know Shaman Alexi's in this pile. This was before his grievous sexual assault allegations. I totally believe all survivors and I think this is the best way that I can read his work without contributing to his popularity in any way. I get a lot of questions about him and his work at the library and people wanting recommendations like his work but that aren't his books. So I want to read this book so I can recommend it to patrons who are looking for something else other than his work.
pile of 10 that I picked from my friend's suggestions. I wanted to pick things that I was curious about or that I was interested in, nothing particularly difficult, but just books that I've been meaning to get to or topics that I'm interested in. Uh, so the first one is read a book about communism. I have a very interesting book about uh, gay culture and communism. It's a hot pink. It is by Mario Miele, so I hope I can pull this book for that. Read a book about gentrification. Gentrification is something that I'm really um, curious about. I want to know more about. I think it's such an important topic, so I picked read a book about gentrification. Read a single issue comic of your choosing, no graphic novels. I do not read enough single issue comics, so I picked this also because I think it's going to be really easy. Um, so yeah, that'll be really fun. Read a book about witch hunts. For this one, um, I have a particular book in mind. It is I Tichiba, The Black Witch of Salem. I'm not sure of the author's name, but I will put up a cover. Um, it just sounds like a super, super interesting book, and I have, and I have it on order from my local bookstore, so hopefully it comes soon. Ask another reading challenge participant to choose a book, read it. This is just really fun, and I love when other people choose my reading. It just feels really, like, cute and wholesome, so yeah, I had to add that in. Read a book by Lucy M. Montgomery. I have been meaning to read Anne of Green Gables for forever. It is a book that my mom recommended to me. She loved it when she was a kid. Uh, so it's about time I read a book by Lucy M. Montgomery. Read a book on Indigenous history by an Indigenous author. I have so many options for this pick. Um, and I've been putting them all off forever. Often I get them out from the library and then they have to be returned. Uh, so I want to make a real effort to read some Indigenous history by Indigenous authors this year. Finish a book that you started more than six months ago but never finished. I have a particular book in mind for this and if I can finish it, it will be a Herculean effort because it has been sitting on my shelf for a very long time. Read a black book about Canadian history. This, I just, I read so much black British or black American history. I really want to focus and pick up a book about black Canadian history. The one I'm thinking of is Policing Black Lives by Robin Maynard. She seems like such a relevant book for these times and I really want to learn from the book. Apparently the author is just really good and it's a really excellent read. So yeah. Read a book of poetry older than 500 years. For this one, I borrowed a book of poetry by Sappho forever ago, and I had to return it from, to the library, so it was never read. So I really, really want to finish it. This will motivate me to do that. So there you have it. Here is my reading jar, revamped for 2020. Uh, I actually kind of want to decorate it, but it has these like little, um, motifs like carved into it like strawberries and apples and cherries and peaches and pears. Uh, this is an old jam jar if you can't tell. Um, so I'm not sure how decorating it would go but like I can try. Um, but yeah that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to getting to this TBR jar and I will talk to you soon.